Howdy there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your little RV specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second-generation family-owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke, my sisters call me Charlie, and my 23 nieces and nephews call me Lukey Poo. But you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. Again, that's truckandrv.com. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see pricing and more information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full-service dealer offering a warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give us a call 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. For sale today, we have a 2004 Chinook Destiny with 95,642 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2004 Chinook Destiny. As usual, I'm going to start in the front, work my way towards the rear. I'm going to do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this Chinook RV. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated business. We're going to go through a full demo with you at the time of sailings for any questions you may have. This particular Chinook is a consignment. We've got about 75 and a half inches of headroom here in the main part of the coach. About 73 inches here in the back and here at the air conditioner. Got our fantastic fan here in the center of the coach. That's operated from the remote over here. Our air conditioner here in the center is operated through the thermostat here. This is also going to operate our propane furnace. Got a mix of carpet and hard surface flooring here. We've got our dinette. Two belts here on this side. Two belts up front. So a total of four belts here in this Chinook. Uh, spots here though you can sit and hang out you're going to drop this down and use these back cushions and the base cushions to make up your dinette bed i'll show you that here in just a little bit got day night shades throughout screen portion over here so the glass is going to slide this way and open up we've got a xantrex inverter on this this is a xantrex 458 freedom that's located down here beneath this dinette got solid wood cabinetry throughout in the chinooks we've got ac power here speakers which are connected to our head unit over here ac power this light switch here is for the lights inside of this valence we've got ac power over here so you can plug things in if you're sitting here in the dinette and we've got a uh, furnace duct over here we've also got dc power over there so you can plug something in there that's going to be run directly to the coach battery got a power sofa over here it's just going to run up and down you can sleep on it just like so you can push the buttons over here run that up and down i'm going to show you that here in just a few minutes got day night shades got switch here for these lights dc power that's run directly to the coach batteries we've got ac power we got ac power back here in the kitchen as well screen portion on the window over here so you can slide this over for a nice cross breeze so i've got a couple different sleeping options here in this chinook i'm gonna go ahead and drop some pictures now so you can see what those look like made up and get some measurements the dinette bed measures approximately 68 inches north-south or front-to-back and 37 inches east-west or side-to-side. -side. The sofa base in the upright position measures approximately 74 inches north-south and 22 inches east-west. When in the down position, the power sofa measures approximately 74 inches north-south and 54 inches east-west. You can sleep side to side with your legs extending into the dinette area, and sleeping this way will make two spots to sleep measuring approximately 22 to 24 inches north-south and 91 inches east-west. You can also connect the sofa bed and the dinette beds to make one large bed measuring approximately 68 to 74 inches north-south and 91 inches east-west. Moving now towards the center of the coach, a remote over here. This is our microwave. This also is a half-time bake oven uh, convection type microwave so you can actually cook things traditionally in there got our levels test here for our black gray and fresh don't always trust these these are not gospel lp gas that's our liquid propane gas coach battery 
I'm gonna push and hold this to be able to test those. Water pump on off, that's gonna pump the water out of the onboard fresh water tank to your sink, shower, or toilet. Hood light and fan. Got a three burner propane cooktop. Nice space here you can also use for general counter use. Storage beneath that, a little cutting board that'll fit in the sink. Some storage down there, some wiring. This is our solar charge controller. Moving back around now to the driver's side. We've got Corian countertops, nice tall faucet, and our paper towel holder. We've got DC power, water heater on off that ignites itself, and a switch for the heated tanks. Got another fantastic fan vent remote there. If you have questions about cold weather camping, check out our video on that on our channel or ask us at the time of sale. Be happy to help you with that. Got a counter extension here you can pull out out of the drawer. I love how the drawers even say Chinook on them. Got our fuse panel. This has our AC breakers and our DC fuses. It's a nice physical representation of those power systems in the RV. You got that nice tall faucet, looks really nice in here. We've got a two-way Dometic fridge freezer. So it's a two-way, I mean it runs on AC power. So your shore power plug-in or your generator or propane gas. Got that Chinook Coke bottle opener there. A screen door on the rear entry. Got our fire extinguisher. A little step up and in here. Got a closet here. You can hang your goodies. Got our start stop switch for our own in 4K generator. That's 248 hours. Got some switches for different lights and our dump light and our step switch. You can turn the step on and off here so it does not open and close every time you open the rear door noxious gas detector got some coat hooks in the rear to hang your stuff as you come into the coach stepping into the bathroom here not much of a step up and in everything's going to happen here and drain down into the floor got our toilet paper got an actual porcelain stool lots of space in here for this size of a motorhome, this is a nice, comfortable wet bath. This fantastic fan here is gonna be operated with that controller that's closest to the bathroom. The other one's gonna operate the fantastic fan up front. Medicine cabinet. And our sink. A little spot there you can either sit or sit things while you are getting ready or taking a shower. So nice space in here. Be able to pull the curtain around you to help contain water. This is our furnace and our furnace ducting beneath the fridge. Got one of our ducts coming out over here that runs on propane. And we've got the back of our water heater over here. Here we are standing in the back of the RV. Did you hear about the stone quarry that went out of business? They hit rock bottom. Got AC power down to the right of the entry door where you'd come into the coach. Forgot to point that out earlier. Got some marks right here. And some more speakers. This is for the satellite dish that's on the roof. These days, this kind of stuff's becoming obsolete, so I would not count on using this. Uh, we're kind of quickly moving to more of that Starlink and streaming where everything just kind of comes out of the sky like magic. 
So we've got here a DVD player. This is our head unit up front. It's gonna control our speakers so you can play music through that. This is going to be a representation of what you have coming through on the solar panels on the roof and some other things you can do through that. Storage back behind. Got our manuals, some sunshades. Got a TV here. So all in all, we've got a really nice specimen here. Got that Chinook quality you know and love. These are all very richly appointed. This one's got some extra goodies for you. Really clean looking inside and out. You would not know this has 95,000 miles on it if it was driving by or if nobody told you. It's very clean inside and out. I'm going to call this an a 9 out of 10. Check it out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV brothers. Up here in the cabin area, we have power windows, power locks, power heated mirrors, tilt, cruise. Got USB in, nav, and some other connectivity options up here in the front. Got nice clean upholstery. These are flex steel seats. Flip your armrest down there. Flex steel makes higher quality furniture. Got a glove box here. Got some cup holders. There's that USB cord going in. Got some DC charging spots there. We can plug your GPS or your phone charger in, whatever you'd like. Got a nice clean upholstery over here. Not seeing any signs of smoking in this. There's no cigarette lighter in here. I'm gonna call this a non-smoker, although it's tough to say for sure. Got a representation of the outside of the coach here. We got some lights that's gonna tell you which doors are open. So if you have like your compartment doors open, like I do have some on the outside now, you're gonna see your lights light up. We got our driving lights on off, a vehicle boost start or an auxiliary start. This is gonna jumpstart you from the coach batteries if you were to run the engine battery dead up here. So you can't run the engine battery dead by doing stuff here in the back, but if you were to leave the key on or something like that and woke up with a dead engine battery, you can jumpstart yourself using this switch. Generator start stop, that's gonna run off the fuel tank, stop running around a quarter tank. You can run that while you're driving if you'd like. Got our coach battery disconnect. This is gonna disconnect the charging systems from the coach battery. The reason they have this here is to prevent parasitic draw. When you're not using the RV, the batteries will slowly go dead but it also disconnects the charging systems, which are the solar power, the alternator while you drive, the shore power plug-in, or the generator. We got some storage behind the driver and passenger seats. Alrighty, folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this 2004 Chinook Destiny. This RV measures 24 feet bumper to bumper with an 11 foot manual awning. The tires have 4616 date codes. This Chinook is built on a Chevy Express 3500 chassis with a six liter V8 engine with 95,642 miles. Really nice looking exterior on this one, lots of shine left. We've got solar panels up top. There's quite a bit of solar on this one. This is a satellite dish, air conditioner, top of the refrigerator. Got a porch light over here. These are to hook the awning legs to. I prefer to run the awning legs directly to the ground. That way someone can't walk through here and accidentally break those. Got our propane tank down here. This is mounted to the unit. You'll have to drive that somewhere to have that filled. There's an on and off valve on that tank. We've got four coach batteries here on this drawer. Got a little bit of clear coat flaking right here. We've got actual alloy rims instead of simulators. Dual rear wheels. In the back of the refrigerator, furnace exhaust. Got our own in 4K generator. Got a ladder for rooftop access. This power step comes in and out. It's currently out. There's a switch that you can turn that on and off so it doesn't come in and out every single time you open the door. Got a tow package right here, a hitch. So you hook things up, you'll possibly need a hitch extender. Got a light here, a little storage spot. A little entertainment center outside here. You can plug something in here. You're gonna get better sound from a Bluetooth speaker than you will through these speakers these days. Again, real nice looking exterior, lots of shine. Got a backup camera here and a porch light. It's a toilet vent, another solar panel. Got our sewer dumps, got our black over here and our gray. Gonna do our black first, then our gray. Everything's gonna come out of here. The gray is going to flush 
everything clean from the black tank, which is your toilet. Got the back of the water heater. Got our outside water center here. We've got a black tank flush. This is our city water connection. You're gonna run a hose in here. It's gonna provide the pressure. You will not need to use your water pump if you have the water hooked up here and the spigot on. Got a fill for the onboard fresh water tank. This is gonna travel wherever the RV goes. You'll have to use the water pump to use the water from here. That will create the pressure to pump that out of the tank. Outside shower, it's good for kids, pets, going to the beach, going on a hike, keep your mess out of the RV. This is our shore power cord. It's a 30 amp service. You're gonna pull this out here and plug it in. It's attached to the RV. This is for a TV if you're staying somewhere with TV. Phone jack, pretty much obsolete now. Got our fuel fill that runs the engine and the generator. Generator will stop running around a quarter tank so you cannot strand yourself. Nice big drawer here, got lots of our goodies. This is a uh, city water hose over here, so you got your hoses, some Lynx levelers, and some other goodies. Nice big drawer. We've got this custom cow catcher, is what a lot of people would call this on the front, so that's painted to match. Got a couple little marks on the hood from bugs and things like that. All in all, we've got a really nice Chinook Destiny here. It's a fantastic specimen. Check this one out at truckandrv.com. It's got that Chinook quality you know and love. Seamless one-piece molded fiberglass uh, shell back here. So this is pretty much the best thing you're going to be able to get is a Chinook in that regard. So check this out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV Brothers. Mm -hmm.